All right, let's welcome. Last week of August, it's Monday, the 26th. G7 meeting is ended. We're listening to a press conference. As I do this highlight from, from the room, but we had more volatile overnight with what happened. And then we come in and kind of a, a, a dangerous chop if you're not careful. If, if and when, like today, the speed picks up, there's not clear direction, you got to be even quicker to get out of losers and bad opinions, right? Because it can run on you. And you got to take profits, you got to scale because it doesn't run for you always. And so patterns are always important to try to recognize what the pattern is going to look like before the pattern looks like it, right? Everybody could see the pattern after it, but anticipate what a pattern can look like. And this is a simple one. At some point, all these swing lows we were talking about 15 minutes after the open were not going to hold. You were going to get this selling through around 60, 60, even 67, even in the E-minis, correct? And so the key was there was some buying. I'm not going to show it now because I want to be around when this press conference concludes. I want to have this thing wrapped up. But the, um, there was some buying that came in, couldn't get it to go up. The NASDAQ had some similar swing lows that they were holding. And so the story is, is twofold. It's like running into a door that's locked. And, and continuing to jam your shoulder to at some point, the hinges get looser and looser. At some point, the door might fly open. But every time you're banging it, you got a better chance of that door flinging open. And that's this move down. Now, it wasn't a tremendous move lower, but there was some direction. And there wasn't a lot of great direction anticipated in the first couple hours. After their joint press con conference between the French president and President Trump, they had a relief rally. And then President Trump went into his own press conference, which he's given as I'm giving this highlight. But um, so you had a pattern, you had support that isn't going to hold forever, and you had the downsides, the right side. Um, it's everybody else seeing it being support in here and then playing it because they don't play it here and they don't play it there and they don't play it there and they don't play it there. They play it here and they get – they wear it. And that's the problem with – you, you, once support is obvious, do the opposite, right? And so there were a couple calls today where I thought we maybe could rally in here, and we didn't. But I thought that, like, at some point when we started breaking out here, not all the way down here or down here or down here, right? You got to be able to change your mind. You're supposed to be wrong in this business, but you don't have to be wrong for long. And it reminds me of a story. I like to tell this story, and I think people will remember this. You'd be wrong, but not wrong for long. I always tease my wife because she gets, you know, she got GPS and everything else, and she'll still take the wrong turn, get lost driving. She's not great with directions. And so I'm driving her and I to, to go to a party some time ago, and I made a turn, and a block later I said I made a wrong turn, and I made a U-turn, and she said to me, I'll see you even make wrong turns and go the wrong way. I says, yeah, but the difference is I caught it in a block. I says, if it was you, we'd run into Lake Michigan before you knew you made the wrong turn. She called me a couple um, words I don't want to repeat, compound words, start with an A, and we moved on. So being wrong is fine. Being wrong for long isn't. And in general, it's hard to be wrong in life. That's why a lot of relationships deteriorate. That's why people in business point the finger. But in most businesses, if you're wrong too much, you're out of business. Trading, yeah, if you're wrong way too much, you're out of business. But usually, people who blow out their account, they aren't, they aren't wrong a lot. But when they're wrong, they just get killed. Every wrong trade is too important. So cinch that up. Know where you're getting out before you get in. Understand how a pattern could look. And don't use support after it's too damn clear. And those that are on YouTube, put the thumbs up in there. Give it a thumbs up. Get, hit the notification. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. It should be the best YouTube channel in the world. I just seen a guy who went over 100 million. There's like two guys over 100 million subscribers. I thought, why is the Edge Trading Group at 100 million? It's crazy. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We uh, are still, for those on YouTube listening, Obviously, on a recording, might not be as relevant. Guys in the room, Trump is still giving his press conference. 
and I think there could be a relief rally after it. There's going to be a big move after it. I think it's on the side of going up. So he says something bearish. Keep an eye on that. And pay attention.